number one in my show lineup because I welcome California Chair for Kasich, Steve Poisoner. Steve, thanks for being with me tonight. Hi, Tommy. Steve, is Governor Kasich going to take this thing all the way to, or should I say, back to Cleveland? I just got off a conference call with Governor Kasich. Uh, he is determined. He's not going to stop until uh, the campaign is over. He's going all the way. And I have to clear this up for, for inquiring minds out there because I've heard it so many times and it's really breaking news. Is it Kasich or Kasich? It's Kasich. Thank Rhymes you. With All right, everyone, we have, we have solved the dilemma here, so I don't want to hear anyone in the studio ever refer to him as Kasich anymore. It's Kasich. All right, now that we've got that cleared up, obviously last night wasn't a, a great night for John Kasich, but I don't think he was expecting it to be a great night. And although he did pick up uh, a few delegates, I think that brings his total to nine now, which still puts him about 18 behind Marco Rubio, who's out of the race. So what's the game plan here from your team? Well, uh, we think that uh, Mr. Trump... Senator Cruz will not get enough votes, you know, to lock this thing up before the convention. So it'll go to a convention uh, and the delegates will decide. There's been 10 Republican conventions in the last 150 years uh, that have been contested. And seven of those 10, uh, the nominee has gone to someone other than the front runner. So once it gets to the convention, it's anybody's game. The, the delegates have a serious job to do. And they will be looking at alternatives. Uh, and the one who does the best in the polling, the last 16 polls have shown Governor Kasich is the only one who can beat Hillary. The delegates will take that very seriously in Cleveland. You know, Steve, I got to be honest with you. I've been saying it on my show for the last few weeks. It's very interesting the way that this is panning out because you're right. In the national polls, he's really the only one that has a shot against Hillary Clinton. Yes, yet I don't know how he's going to do with the base because many in the conservative base under the conservative umbrella still say that he's basically a Democrat. He, you know, voted to expand Medicaid in the state of Ohio. And some of his other actions, some of his other rhetoric has pointed to a, a more, I guess, moderate, closer to Democratic friendly stance on many issues, how is he going to rally the base behind him and rally those delegates? Uh, he is a problem solver. He does appeal to people from both sides of the aisle. That's why he's done so well in Ohio. But the fact is, the reason why I'm supporting him as a volunteer is because he's a proven conservative leader. And just look at his track record. You know, talk is cheap in politics. Look at what people have done. When he was in uh, on the Armed Services Committee for 18 years. And by the way, he is a national security expert. He helped to retool the Pentagon to prepare our country for asymmetric warfare and counterterrorism. When he was the chair of the Budget Committee in Congress, he actually balanced the federal budget. I know a lot of people don't believe that ever happened, but he actually balanced it. He led the charge uh, to actually balance the budget four years in a row. In Ohio, he inherited a mess as governor $8 billion budget hole and lots of unemployment. What, what, what did he do? He cut taxes by $5 billion, the largest tax increase, de excuse me, that tax decrease of any place in the country. The result is a balanced budget in Ohio and 400,000 new jobs pouring into Ohio since he's been governor in 2011 when he started. Well, there's no question that he's qualified. There's no question that uh, he has experience. I tend to agree with you on that front. And he's also run a very positive campaign. I think he's done quite well for himself, staying out of the fray of all of it. I will say, though, a lot of people were alarmed to see the, the Cruz Kasich team up there. I know that both of them uh, have gotten some bad press because of it. What was your thought on that, uh, that, that little alliance to stop Trump? Well, um, gosh, uh they did what they thought they had to do to deal with limited resources. But frankly, I'm not big on alliances. In California, Governor Kasich is going after every single possible vote, every single delegate. It's winner take all by congressional district here in California, 53 con congressional districts. He does have limited resources. He's been outspent 50 to 1. But, you know, he will focus his resources in California, but he will win his fair share of delegates in California to give him good momentum going into the convention in Cleveland. 
I think he actually will do quite well in California. I can certainly see that happening. I don't think it's going to tilt for Trump, and I know it's not going to tip for uh, for Cruz. So I think Kasich actually has a great opportunity there, which then again leads us to a real dilemma. Many would say that folks, even Ted Cruz, John Kasich, are working to divide the party more than ever, making it impossible to have a Republican in the White House. What's your response? Well, this is all about making sure Hillary is not the next president. This is all about winning the White House, keeping control of the U.S. Senate, and making sure there's a conservative balance in the U.S. Supreme Court for decades to come. So Governor Kasich is about making sure that a conservative, and he is a conservative with a proven track record, gets into the White House to make those crucial U.S. Supreme Court appointments. I want to talk about uh, one of the things that does trouble me, and that's the expansion of Medicaid in Ohio. I wonder, many of the other candidates, in fact, all of the candidates have said that they will take a real look at Obamacare if they are elected and that they will repeal and replace it. Is that where John Kasich aligns as well, even though he's in the past kind of cozied up to the notion of Obamacare? Well, yes, he's crystal clear on this. He wants to repeal and replace Obamacare. That's crystal clear. Now, I'm the former elected insurance commissioner here in California. I've focused on the problems in the insurance markets, you know, for a long time as insurance commissioner. Uh, the fact is, what he's done in Ohio, he's fixed Medicaid. I mean, Medicaid is the health care safety blanket, you know, in, in various states like Ohio. Uh, costs were going up at 10 percent per year when, and when he took over. He fixed the, 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 the busted inflation in the in the Medicaid system in Ohio. It's now the costs are growing by only 2%. So he's actually implemented some fundamental reforms away from fee for service to coordinated care, which is the only way to get control of the costs. He's done a good job there. Well, I think it could be the resurgence of what we called compassionate conservatism, what uh, George Bush tried to do and in some ways succeeded at. But, you know, you're right. When I do look at Kasich's record, there are some things that stand out as red flags, but there are a lot of positives. Another thing, speaking of positives and positivity, he's run a very positive campaign, which I give him a lot of credit for. However, I wonder if by some miracle it ends up being John Kasich versus Hillary Clinton. Will he go after her with everything that he has? Well, he's definitely into compare and contrast. He is a positive, inclusive leader. He has got a great message. It appeals to independents in addition to conservative Republicans. Uh, but he will make sure that people understand the fundamental differences between his views and the liberal views of Hillary Clinton. Will it work, though? Will it be enough? And I say that because I'm very, very honest with you. If I am looking at someone that could take on Hillary Clinton, we're talking about the national polls. He's the only one that could actually defeat her. As of now, a lot could change. But I want to make sure that if we do support, you know, whoever the nominee is for the Republicans, I'm going to support them. If it is Kasich, by, by some outside shot, he comes up from behind and takes it. I want to know that he's going to go after Hillary with everything he's got and not go easy on her. I want him to bring up Benghazi. I want him to bring up the emails, the possible indictment. I want him to really go after her, not mean-spirited way, not tweet at her, but I want to know that he's going to be a warrior because I don't think that anything less is going to defeat Hillary Clinton. Do you think he's got it in him? He does. I mean, he's been fighting hard for a year with limited resources. He knows the stakes are super high. We're talking about the balance in the U.S. Supreme Court for decades to come. Winning is the only option. He knows he has the best chance of beating Hillary. He's the only Republican who can beat Hillary, if you believe, the last 16 polls. He will do what it takes to win in November. Last thing I want to ask you, and it has to be brief, what do you want to tell all the Republicans out there that are apprehensive about Kasich? What's your message for them? He's prepared to be commander-in-chief on day one. He will focus on national security, and he has got a great conservative track record. Just check Ohio and his work in the U.S. Congress. Well, thank you, and I do applaud his ability to stay above the fray. And you know what? This is the craziest election season that I've been alive for, even though I'm only 23. I will say anything could happen at this point. So thank you for being with me tonight. We surely appreciate it. Thanks, Tommy. Next, some American Muslims like the fact that Trump is a little nuts. More after this.